everybody, Matt here from Matt's Movies Music and More, welcoming you to this week's movie review episode. The movie that I'm talking about today is a movie that came out to quite a significant fanfare in 2018, but then just kind of dwindled away really. I remember seeing the trailers for the film on TV and then was like, yeah, I fancy that, and then nothing. But it's just been released out on DVD and Blu-ray, so I thought I would take a shot in reviewing it. So the film that I'm talking about today is the 2018 movie The Festival, which is directed by Ian Morris, and it stars as its main character, and it's the only one I'm going to mention in this, Joe Thomas, who was famous for being in the TV series The Inbetweeners, which Ian Morris created alongside Damon Beasley. And um, The Inbetweeners became a huge cult hit in England, and um, it spawned two movies. The Inbetweeners movie, which came out, I think, in 2010, and um, the subsequent sequel, which would come a few years later. Um, but since then, Joe Thomas has gone on to do other things, such as a TV series called Fresh Meat, I believe. And um, in this movie, he plays a character called Nick, who is graduating uh, university, and he's going out with this girl called Caitlin, played by Hannah Toynton, who was actually in an In Between Us TV series episode in which she played a character called Tara that he was going out with. In fact, in, at this moment in time, both uh, Thomas and um, Toynton are actually in a relationship together as we speak. So well done to them. Really happy for them. But with this movie, it's about that Caitlin decides to leave Nick um, on the day of graduation and Nick sort of breaks down. But because Nick was going out with Caitlin, Caitlin's friends had sorted them out tickets, which they paid for, for Nick and his mate Shane, who is this big coloured guy. Um, a really, really fun character in this movie. And um, they've managed to get tickets to go to a festival. And um, they've paid for them, and so they go to go and see him, because Shane is a huge fan of the DJ Hammerhead, who is a guy who wears this big Hammerhead mask. And um, as they're travelling, it's basically all about the shenanigans that could go on at a festival. So the poster itself shows the Joe Thomas character covered in mud. That's just one of the many things that happen in this movie. Um, but as they go to the festival, they actually um, meet this Australian backpacker whose name is Amy, and she's a very talkative, you know, she won't stop talking, but she's clearly trying to make friends, and so uh, Nick and Shane become her friends in a way, and um, whilst they're there, Nick thinks, oh, I'm going to have a great time, I'll get over Caitlin, and as they happen to be there, they bump into Caitlin and her friends. And so they find out that Caitlin is now um, kind of romantically involved with a guy who's working there called the Pirate, who is a one-legged guy played by uh, Kurt Yeager, um, the American actor. Um, I didn't mention it earlier on, but one of the characters in this movie that I really like, even though he's in it very minimal, is um, Shane's stepdad, who is played by uh, Jermaine Clement, who um, you will know from Fight of the Concords, who I think is a really, really underrated actor. Um, and um, with this movie, um, what can I say about it? I mean, I've seen it twice. I watched it in quite quick succession to do this review because I thought, well, the first time I didn't really pay full attention and the second time I watched it again, and I thought, it's okay. It's not as great as The Inbetweeners. It probably never was going to be because it wasn't written by uh, either Ian Morris or um, David Beasley. Um, he, Ian Morris just directed it. Um, but... The film itself is okay. I mean, it's got some good cameo appearances. Um, I won't mention the characters involved, but um, you've got cameo appearances from Nick Frost and from Noel Fielding as well. And um, yeah, it, it, it's an okay movie for what it is. Um, it's better than I expected because being a festival movie, I expected there to be a lot of music, which is not really my kind of thing, which is the dance scene, current dance scene music. But they don't really focus on that too much. It's mostly on about the shenanigans of what happens at a festival. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I don't really want to linger too much about this movie. But I would say if you're a fan of The Inbetweeners, I'd say check it out. Um, you're probably not going to enjoy it as much as The Inbetweeners. But if you like the Simon character, which Joe Thomas is clearly playing in this film... Um, the whole, oh, I love Carly, I love Carly, oh, friend. It's basically like that, but with this other girl played by Kate, you know, called Caitlin. It's basically that. So, yeah, so if you like the festival, I'd say 
you know, let me know what did you think of it. I mean, have you seen it? If you haven't seen it, tell me what you think. You know, it'd be good to know um, because clearly I need films to talk about and um, it would be good if you guys can like and subscribe to the channel. Really need to spread the word of mouth. We've got some good things coming up on this channel very soon. Um, plenty of movie reviews, hopefully some music reviews coming up soon. I really want to do that. We've got my series, which is this one you're catching up at the moment. We've got What Did You Think, which is a great series I do with special guests. We also have um, my At The Movies With Andrew series with my friend Andrew doing that. Um, but yeah, um, I just want to say a big thank you to you all for watching this. And um, be sure to catch my next video. So anyway, thank you very much everybody and all the very best.